हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस आई एम गुरमीत सिंह एंड ऑल्सो वेलकम टू द कंप्लीट सीरीज ऑन चैप्टर सर्कल फॉर क्लास टेंथ स्टूडेंट्स वी विल कवर ऑल दिस लेक्चर्स इन दिस सीरीज यूजिंग द पावर ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन एंड एनिमेशन एंड स्पेशली इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर थियरम टेन पॉइंट वन प्रूफ नोट दैट द कॉन्सेप्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर एंड इन दिस लेक्चर स्पेशली वी विल कवर ओनली द थियरम टेन पॉइंट वन प्रूफ सो विदाउट टेकिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट स्टार्ट द लेक्चर The theorem 10.1 is the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Firstly, let's understand the concept. Then we will go to the proof. Let's take this circle, and let's take the point P on the circumference of the circle. And in the previous lecture, we have done that for any point on the circumference of the circle, we can have only one tangent. All the other line except the tangent will be the secant. So for this point P, we can have only one tangent. Let's draw the tangent. This is a tangent. Further, let's join the point P with the center point. It will form the radius OP. So this is the radius. The concept is that the radius and tangent will be perpendicular to each other. That is the angle between the radius and the tangent will always be a 90 degree angle. This is the concept. This is the theorem, and in this theorem we will prove the same. For proving the same, you should know one more concept, the concept of the geometry. For understanding the concept, let's take a point and a line, and the distance between this point and the line can be several distances. For example, we can call this distance as also the distance between the point and the line, and also these line, these line, all these lines are acting as a distance between the point and the line. The concept is that we have to find the shortest distance. The shortest distance between the point and the line is the perpendicular distance. This is the shortest distance, and this will be perpendicular. So this is the concept of geometry which will be used. The concept is that the shortest distance between a point and a line is perpendicular. So based on this concept, we will solve our theorem. So let's come back to our theorem. Here we are having a circle, and we are also having a tangent. The point of contact is P. And O is the center point, OP is the radius, and X Y is the tangent. And here we have to prove radius and tangent are perpendicular to each other. That is, OP is perpendicular to X Y. This we have to prove. Let's have a point Q anywhere on this tangent except the point P. Let's join O and Q. We got a line segment OQ. Can you tell me out of OP and OQ which is the smallest? By looking, we can say OP is smaller than OQ, but still we will go mathematically. Let's take a point M on this intersection point. Here OP and OM are the radius, so both will be equal to each other. Here this complete length OQ will be greater than the distance OM. Got it? OM is just part of the complete length OQ. OQ is basically composed of OM and MQ, so OM is part of the complete distance OQ. So OQ will be larger than OM. OM is just a part of OQ. Further, OM and OP are equal. We can replace that. So we got OP is smaller than OQ. Similarly, you can take the point Q anywhere on this tangent x y. All the distance will be larger than the line segment OP or the radius OP. You can take it here. You can take it here. At all of this distance, OQ will be larger than the distance OP. So we can conclude that OP is the shortest of all distance. And just now we have understood the concept that is the shortest distance between any point and any line is the perpendicular distance. So OP is the shortest of all the distance. So OP will be perpendicular to the line which is the tangent x y. That is the proof of our theorem. Got it? The proof is very simple. So we have done with the proof of this theorem. In the next lecture, we will cover the proof of the theorem 10.2. So students we have done with this lecture if you have enjoyed like and subscribe to our youtube channel and also share this video with your friends and the class 10 student we also have a similar kind of video all the chapters for class 10 student check the playlist section of our youtube channel and best of luck for the exam you are preparing for and have a great day bye for now